Hey, we got Drew's views here, and I'm back for a little Car Tuesday, reacting to them cartoons on Tuesday. Today I'm watching Teen Titans Season 5, Episode 2, Homecoming Part 2. So it's a two-part episode. It has to do with the Doom Patrol, which apparently is Beast Boy's former outfit when he was like a preteen, I guess. Not a Teen Titan, a preteen patroller. We didn't see how he, we got a flashback with him on there. We didn't see um, why or how he left that, that squad, but uh, there is some issues with him and it's seeming leader Mento, who's like a mind reader. The Doom Patrol is very kind of, uh, especially when Beast Boy left and there's seems to be four of them. They're very fantastic, four coded. But yeah, there's, I don't remember what her name is, but she, she's like a kind of female Mr. Fantastic, like Elastigirl from The Incredibles, I guess, that type of power. Then a guy who kind of like wrapped up like a mummy and he, he can leave his body though with like a shadow type thing. The villains had him lock, locked up separately, his shadow on his body when they were, when we saw him locked up. And then there's a robot man who was just, uh, the villains didn't get him, <laughs> he was left out. <laughs> dead quote unquote in the woods you know out of juice or whatever but cyborg got him going again and he was uh, running around going crazy kind of like the thing from fantastic four i would say also kind of like cyborg i guess so they so the issue with beast boy though was that he didn't follow mendo's directions back in the day he saved the team instead of going after the villain and the villain are uh is this brain guy and then this gorilla, who I, for most of the episode, I thought the brain guy was controlling the gorilla, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Actually, the gorilla was like speaking toward the end and doing his own thing, it seemed like. But I guess he still carries the brain around because the brain can't, doesn't have legs. So we don't know what's going on with that. But basically, yeah, so the villains had the Doom Patrol. Which again, I mentioned this last time, but Doom Patrol definitely sounds more like a villain squad to me than a hero squad, but anyway. Uh, had them locked up to do his nefarious deeds, their nefarious deeds. It was also like called the Brotherhood of Evil or something, so presumably there's more than just these two villains also, but um, I don't know. It's it's, a, it's a, the Doom Patrol's nemesis group. I guess when you're going up against the Brotherhood of Evil, Doom Patrol doesn't sound so bad and villainous. But yeah, he had them locked up except for Robot Man, who the Teen Titans found. And yeah, Beast Boy then was put in the same exact situation in modern days, back in the day when Mento told him to. And now this time, his new squad, the Teen Titans, were all in trouble too. So of course, he saved them instead of stopping the brain guy. But um, Mento's mad at him again. And saying that because he was able to start reading the mind again and saw that the brain guy has terrible powers to destroy the world but we'll see and then the doom patrol kind of left walked off at the end from the titans but i assume we'll definitely see them again this time and we'll see if this beast boy thing gets wrapped up or him and mento come to more blows over it or have some type of catharsis to their relationship i'm pretty interested to see what's going on here it definitely seems like we're setting up a Beast Boy type of season here for the final Teen Titans season, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into Homecoming Part 2. Let's do it. Cast list on this here. Oh, Negative Man's voice by Judge Reinhold. Pretty big get. Monshore Mala, that's the that's the girl. I saw he's like a French girl, okay. Same voice actor for him and, and Brain. General Mortis. And Mento, the same voice, okay. And Sandra Berkeley. Oh, and Tara Strong is doing Elastigirl as well. Raven's voice. I feel like let me see here. Yeah, I'm looking up Helen Parr of the Incredibles it is called Elastigirl also. Seems like this the Doom Patrol came out first. A lot. I don't. I mean, I'm just assuming. I guess this. You know, these Homecoming episodes aired in 2005, a year after the first Incredibles. When I, I gotta assume they're based on a comics and whatnot. Oh yeah, this ca comic book character, Elasta Girl, also known as Elasta Woman, created by Arnold Drake and Arnest 
Bruno Permiani first appeared in My Greatest Adventure number 80, June 1963, so much older. Well, Rita Farr is an Olympic swimming gold medalist turned Hollywood actress. Okay, I wonder, now I'm wondering if, because I just looked up Girl from The Incredibles and her name was Helen Parr, that character's son. This is Rita Farr. I guess maybe that's a reference then, and that's how they're getting away with it. It's just like an homage. Hmm. To this character. Anyway, yeah, we had her, of course. We have Negative Man and Robot Man, you know, two mans and Mento. And they, so they got Beast Boy back on the team. I didn't necessarily see that coming. I thought maybe, you know, before the episode started, I, at first I thought they had just walked away last time to do a patrol and then the Titans would have to catch back up to them and Beast Boy would force his way in there. But no, Mento wanted him, but he didn't want the rest of the squad. He wanted to do things his own way. So they're setting up that, you know, conundrum. Is it better to forge ahead, let the people sacrifice themselves for the ultimate goal, or should you sit down and rethink things, go back for people? So Beast Boy finally convinced him, which was good. So he was, Mento was reasonable in the end. And he even gave BB some fatherly type of, you know, encouragement that he's been looking for it seems from the last episode at least uh, an attaboy and you know the, the rest of the team did too especially the last to go seems to have his back garfield's back <laughs> so yeah that's funny uh that's his real name yeah so the titan the other four titans i guess were following along as i kind of thought they would when beast boy went off and Picked up the other three that kind of were sacrificing on Doom Patrol. And then, of course, you had Beast Boy in the end. Had the idea to switch the weapon onto their spot and put that that base in a black hole. Yeah, so the, the villains, well, we saw a lot, all the villains at the end. Um, you know, it was even the all the comedy villains, um, all the Hive Academy. It looked like they were there. Yeah, pretty much like, uh, you know, who, who's the guy, the gross kind of guy. Um, uh, Plasmus was there. Very much everyone but Slade that we've seen, I would say, almost. And of course, not Trigon, but you know. But the main squad is, yeah, the, the Monsieur, the Gorilla, the Brain. And then there was a Rouge, Lady Rouge or something, something like that. Who was also some kind of elastic qualities, but she could also turn, use it. Like, we saw her in a scene, turn her finger into a key. This is maybe a little bit like a Jake from Adventure Time power. Um, and then the, the general, um, the Forever Soldier. So, like, I kind of mentioned it during it, but it is like, it seems like when you get his immortality, he's already like an old man. So, I don't know if I would want that. If I'm getting the immortality. Not that I would want it anyway, but if I did get it, I wouldn't want I wouldn't want to be old already and just be old forever. But I guess he's in it for the love of the game, <laughs> going to war. We'll see. Yeah, it definitely seems like this is the main... I mean, I guess it's cool for the final season of Teen Titans here. Have just all the villains be on a team against this the Titans. And yeah, the, the Doom Patrol, I hope we'll see more of them this season. I'm thinking we probably will at this point since they seem to be all tied in. It's kind of like their villains are tying into our villains now. Yeah, good stuff. I really liked that two-parter. Did not what I was expecting to start the season, but I did definitely enjoy it. Fun team-up stuff. So yeah, I'll be back next Car Tuesday for season five, episode three. Join me back on that one. But until then, the homecoming's over. Peace. Doom Patrol, move out.